Hey guys, I'm back with another random video and I wanted to share my eyeshadow find. So I totally hit pan and have been hitting pan on my MAC Make Your Mark. And I typically only use like one eyeshadow on my lid because that's all that I have room for. <laughs> so I wanted to make my own MAC palette and I was like building it and I wasn't sure what the colors and like by the time you do a customized four pan palette, it's like so expensive. So. I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Coastal Scents Hot Pots and these are what they are and you can customize your own palette and you can buy these clear lids in a 4, um, 12 or 28 piece. I got the 12 um, just because I didn't need that many shadows but seriously after I got these and I saw the quality I like got more and it's like colors I totally didn't need but I was just so impressed by the packaging and what it looked like and the swatches that I just totally wanted to recreate that experience again and do another order. So these do go on sale now and then. I didn't wait for a sale because I was just excited and I was just bored, I guess. So um, they do go on sale for like half price, like 99 cents or a dollar or something. And that's each individual pan. So when they're not on sale, I mean, they're still a good deal. It's like 195 for each pot and the um, empty palettes, this particular one was $5.95. Um, so not too bad, but I did want to share the um, colors that I got with you. They do come in 372 colors or something crazy like that. And a lot of people, I read a lot of reviews and a lot of YouTube videos I watched and the colors are hit or miss. So I did quite a bit of research to ensure that I got good ones, like the colors that I wanted and like the finish that I wanted and then also the opaqueness and stuff. So I did do a lot of research to ensure that I got good ones. And you also, when you order it, it has reviews on the website for each individual color. So you can tell right away if it's a dud or not um, and if you should buy it or whatever. So, but it's not a big deal. If you get a dud, it was only $1.95 or if you get it on sale, it was 95 cents. So, um, I just wanted to show you the colors that I got. And like I said, it's washing it out, but this is the setting on my camera that can give us the truest color. And a lot of them are shimmery because I heard the shimmery ones are um, the best. But I will show you the swatches. And this was pretty hard to do, but even with my camera being sucky right now, you can see that it's pretty opaque and these are the colors that I exactly wanted and I love that I could customize my own palette. So from left to right, this one is Chocolate Berry Nude Cherry Chocolate Deep Cider barista which is a matte rich walnut which i love and my camera's not doing any of this justice root beer amaretto pure bronze um burnished wine which i love boca mocha is another one that i really like a lot and then amber bronze i really like that one a lot too so that's what the swatches look like again my camera's not doing it any justice whatsoever so the pictures will at the end, but I just, I totally love it. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like um, when you get the package from Coastal Sense. So I got my package here and they actually sent it two day priority mail, which I didn't pay for. They, they must have made a mistake because what I, what is kind of a downfall is the shipping is kind of a lot of money. It's like, I don't know, eight or nine dollars. Um, so that's the only thing, but I got another, another set, another palette. I know so bad, but, um, this is similar how my other package came. It comes in a little mesh bag and my other mesh bag was, I think, pink. And then it came with, they give you a little sample too. And I'll swatch these. These are crazy. 
I was not expecting the pigmentation and I think these come from their 252 palette and these colors are light taupe cinnabar rose burnt umber and midnight blue but the midnight blue is crazy swatched so here's what they look like I'll just swatch them real quick on my hand Swatching is actually harder than, like, it looks so easy when other people do it on camera, but it's kind of, it's a little challenging. The blue is super crazy, but that's what the samples look like. I mean, those aren't colors that I would typically use, but it's just nice to get the little sample size. Okay. So, I got more colors. <laughs> Super crazy. So, you get, here's one of the palettes that I got. It's empty. So, you get it empty and it's all magnetized and everything. And then I got a little sticker. I love makeup. And then you get a little, you know, business card and stuff. But these are the other colors that I got. And I kind of wanted to go for like a more rose theme. And then I'll swatch these as well. Um, so this one, so they come in a little plastic package like that, and then you just open it up real easily. You take the pot out, and then you put it in your little pan. You can also put it in a Z palette if you guys already have a Z palette. I didn't have one, so, and I like those containers. So this one is Golden Sienna. I'm excited. And I was excited about this vintage, vintage burgundy one. And then I got a cinnamon stone. So I kind of want to get ready in purpley browns and then some like brow bone colors. This one's flesh tone. And I heard really good things about the chamois nude. And it's chamois is spelled crazy, so a lot of people tend to um, pronounce it wrong. <laughs> so it's C H A M O I S. And that's like a chamois, like something that you would, you know, dry your car with, like that. Um, this one I heard good things about too, the Oatmeal Tan. And a lot of these are like similar to some of the MAC colors too. And I got a backup of the Cherry Chocolate because that was one of my favorites. And then I got a backup of the Rich Walnut because that's one of my favorites. Um, I got a couple, like two backups. And then this one's Timeless Taupe. And I was thinking I could try to use that for like a contour color because everyone's into contouring right now. Um, Cherry Chocolate, I got another backup of. Um, this one's Caramelized. This one is Southern Wood, which has kind of like a mauve undertone. And then this one's Earth Rose. And then I'm excited about this one. This is why I wanted to make like a second order, the Raisinberry one. And then this last one is Deep Merlot. So I'll swatch those and I'll put them in the palette and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm back with the swatches. So I've put them into the pan and it looks gorgeous. So, so again, I'll insert a picture just so you can see the real color. But um, here are the swatches. And again, my camera's not doing it any justice whatsoever. So So from left to right, it's nude and then deep cider. Oh, hold on. Wrong paper. So this one is flesh tone. It's shimmery. Here's that sh chamois nude, which I love. Here's the oatmeal tan, which has kind of an orange undertone, which I notice a lot of beauty gurus like on their crease. And then timeless taupe, which I'm going to try as a contour shade and then it's, it might be super dark though but we'll see um timeless taupe golden sienna vintage burgundy which i love it's sort of like a deep purple earth rose which i love um cinnamon stone caramelized rich walnut and deep merlot they kind of look alike um, and it's being washed out by the camera because I think they're one color after another. And then the last one's Raisinberry, which is similar to the Vintage Burgundy, but it's a lot more red. Anyways, I know those swatches suck, but <laughs> I'll take a picture so you can see them.
So that's it. There's all my video. I just wanted to share my palettes because I'm like super, super happy with them. And um, I'll have pictures, like I said. So that's it. Um, if you just wanted some cheaper eyeshadows that worked really well, I totally, totally, I totally love these. And I think they're um, worth a shot if you're looking for that. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.